it's joy and uh, this is what I hope, we'll see, is the last video or the last video for the moment in this series about Dustin Daly. I don't know how long this video is gonna be, so strap in, I'm kinda of scared, I figure it's gonna be long, but if you guys aren't aware, Dustin Daly, Darston Darley, I don't know why, I've just been like Ring a lot of things, Sharn Darston and Darston Darley and Tarsha Cardis. <laughs> I mean, I don't know, maybe I'm just going stir crazy being in my house, because I don't mean disrespect by doing it. Um, Lord knows people have disrespected my name up one side and down another. But if you guys haven't seen the first two videos I did on this, go check these out, because uh, Dustin Daly, and by the way, Nick Snyder is his name. I couldn't remember, and I just, I have a horrible, me you guys know I have a horrible memory, so I couldn't remember, but they did a video, and basically what they did was they lied about Shane Dawson and took clips out of context to say, oh, he's so mean, he spits in people, and he's just horrible and gross, and he body shames. All the while, none of it was true. They were skits, and like things like Drew actually spit on him first, and they're finding the relationship to spit on each other in skits, all while then Dustin Daly decides that he can joke about spitting on people. The jokes aren't okay, except if it's him and his partner. And then they body shame, they illness shame, they do all types of shaming to Shane Dawson. Because when we put a bullseye and a target on somebody's back to bully, we get to do whatever we want, says the internet. Makes me disgusted, makes me grossed out. But this is the last one because I think this is the most epic. He not only issued an apology, it's actually not an apology. In fact, the title is called, I Messed Up. The title is called, it's not even I Apologize. And not once in here, count it with me, because maybe I'm wrong, we'll go through it together. Not once in here did I hear an actual apology or anything that resembles it. Basically, what you're gonna hear is a bully that says, so, uh, I own my actions of being a bully, but I'm a bully and I'm going to bully as I feel to bully and bully, bully, bully. <laughs> it like, it, I don't know, the jokes write themselves in this. And I just think it's so funny because people like Dustin Daly, Petty Page, and a little crew have come so hard at me for some sarcastic, silly jokes and comments I've apologized a billion times for five years ago if they offended anybody when I had no disrespect. There was no intention of hurting anybody. I'm, I'm the world's biggest racist on the planet because of that. Yet it's always so interesting to watch how these people actually support racists or they get in bed with and support the people that say the N-word or love that racist humor. And then they're caught doing all kinds of awful things. Oh my gosh, Dustin was being a wonderful ableist. He was uh, trying to put Shane down saying, Shane stinks. You know, it's not like Trisha didn't put out that Shane is suffering from ideation and feelings and actions of wanting to take himself off the planet. Please infer, we're gonna make fun of his body odor. Even though they both said, I don't know if he stinks. That's some ableist behavior. That, that, one, that one really got to me because I'm somebody that's chronically ill. And you know what? I've had days I could not shower. Oh, you're going to come make fun of me, Dustin? You, you going to do that? And then you're going you're gonna to body shame? <laughs> I just, I, I love the hypocrisy. I love how all these people were silent when people were body shaming me when I was sick with a disability and chronic illness. I guess it was okay. Where was Petty Page? When the horror world was coming after me for my body, she was laughing and calling me crazy along with them. Hey girl, hey. But you know, for them, one mistake where they can put a target on you for the rest of your life, or not even a mistake, something they perceive as a mistake because they're manipulative, will twist anything just to end up growing their platforms because really they don't have a whole lot of talent outside of that. That's what they do. They get paid to be bullies. And, you know, you could say to me, well, Joy, look at what you're doing. And people have said that. You know what? I totally get it. But here's the difference. I've actually done so many things in my life and made money. The reason I'm doing this right now, A, I felt the universe called me back here. But B, I couldn't continue to do stimulus. I literally did a whole separate topic. I did financial news, stimulus news, and stuff about SBA loans and grants and how to find government money for the people when they were suffering. Really hard stuff. Very intellectually difficult information. Three months, 100,000 subscribers. Had literally about $100,000 coming in and growing a month. So I've done all kinds of stuff. Unfortunately, I'm in a position where I'm ill. And right now, this is what I can do. I can't sit and read and consume information on the stock market and the economy and what all of the government players are doing 12 hours a day. I just can't keep up with it. So I know that's a bit of an introduction. Oh, she talks about herself. Oh, I know, because it's my channel and that's what I'm here to do. I hear it and I relate things to my experiences. Oh, I'm awful. <laughs> I'm sorry, some of the comments have been cracking me up. And that's okay, people can have their opinions. 
I don't care. I'm going to grow my channel, grow my business, and the truth comes to light. I've learned that with this stuff on the internet. The truth always comes to light. And so many people are turds and a-hats, and they get to stay on this platform and just grow. So why can't I stay here and spread the truth and grow my channel even if I'm hated? Don't care. <laughs> I don't care. So with that being said, let's see the best non-apology apology you've ever seen. Take it away, Piggly Wiggly Dustin. Hey, what is up all my social climbing friends? It's Dustin and I'm back with another video. Now, I want to say when I start this video that if I talk about people, people are free to talk about me. However, when you attack someone, I don't understand the internet where they think that you can attack someone and disrespect someone and be gross to someone and think that you're not gonna get a response the same way. I match energies over here. If you're rude to me, if you attack me, I'm gonna be just as nasty to you as you were to me or even nastier. That's just period, point blank how it is. Disrespect is met with disrespect. Really? So, hey Dustin, out of all the videos you and your boyfriend and everybody else has done on Shane, I'm just curious what Shane did to warrant that personally. Did, did Shane attack you? No. And in fact, we're finding out a lot of the information that's out there about Shane is uh, lies. Not all of it, right? People are upset from some of this content in his past, especially minorities. More power to you. I understand. I am not a minority. I would never tell you how to feel. And I understand people don't have to forgive him. But I am curious, Dustin, like wh what is it that makes you think that the rules apply to you and to not other people. Because I see you taking jabs at and being disrespectful and mean to all kinds of people who don't deserve it, including people who are ment have mental health struggles, who want to leave the planet, and then you sit there and mock what you think their hygiene is. Mock how the Piggly Wiggly smells, and by extension, I guess the people that shop there, and ooh, you're gonna take your fiance on an excursion there, because it's just real fun to see how us poor whites or poor minorities, how we live, right? You're just so above that. I'm sorry, but I think, I, I look at this and I think it's funny, because what I hear is, here's the thing, um, if you attack me, I'm attack you even harder. So basically you have no class. <laughs> You have no class and very little sophistication. You are just somebody that doesn't really do a lot of self-reflecting. You just react. I match energies over here. What does that even mean? Literally. So you have the consciousness of an animal where an animal just reacts to their instincts. In fact, my dog reacts. My dog has more self-reflection than that. So I just want to make sure if somebody comes at me mean, I'm not going to make them mean a hundred times worse. How are you better than any of the people you talk about then? You're not. Basically, what that says is, look, if anybody says something I don't like, I'm going to be even 10 times meaner to you because I'm a bully and I'm justifying being a bully. And what I'm doing, guys, is I want to break down these buzzwords, buzz phrases, and little things he does to throw in there to show you exactly what he means. Dustin Daly is basically outing himself as a bully, and he's correct. Now, with all that said, I want to say that I did upload a video with Nick the other day talking about Drew Monson and Shane Dawson, right? And a lot of people are saying that I manipulated the context of this video. I did not manipulate the context of this video. What happened was an oversight. I was sent this compilation video of Shane Dawson spitting in Drew Monson's face and I reacted to it. I didn't look any further into it, so it is an oversight on my part. And if I tell people that they should apologize and they should get on here and own what they've done, I have to do the same thing. So that is basically what I'm doing in this video. I uploaded that video without looking further into the situation. However, I want to give you the background on why I did what I did, because I think that that is very important to the story. Because do you think that it is far-fetched to see Shane Dawson spit in one of his friend's faces? I'll give you a minute. Because I don't. I didn't manipulate the context of this video, but because I didn't do my research and due diligence, the video I put out ended up being a manipulative lie. Do you love it? And then, my favorite, my favorite is his justification at the end. But can you guys really blame me for believing that Shane Dawson spit in Drew Monson's face? I'll give you a minute. No. You literally have admitted that you haven't done the research and that you've lied about him. But then you say, yeah, but can you forgive me for believing a lie about Shane? Well, when people like you, Dustin, perpetuate so many lies about people and so many lies and mistruths about people like Shane, I guess you should just believe anything that comes out about him. Why actually do any research? Why? Oversight. I was sent this compilation video of Shane Dawson spitting Andrew Monson's face, and I reacted to it. I didn't look any further into 
He says he was sent the clip. He reacted to it and didn't look any further. Is this kind of the whole, Dustin, you match energies with energies thing? That means you just don't do any research and anytime anybody presents anything to you or anything happens, you just react wildly. Like, is this who you are on your YouTube and your private life? You must be really fun to be around. Now, he wants to apologize, but he wants to give you the background story. Can you blame him for just believing any random thing about Shane? <gasps> no. You know what's funny, too? He had said in the other videos, please go check him out, that Drew Monsoon is just so sweet and wears his heart on his sleeve, and you can just tell how manipulative Shane is because so much information has come out in Horrible Shane. When the video actually shows the full video, Drew spit on Shane first, and then Shane did it back because they have the kind of relationship and friendship where they're okay with that, especially when they're doing skits. They're fine with it. I'm going to apologize, but guys, I'm justified. <laughs> Oh my gosh, this is the best. This is iconic. And in what context is spitting in someone's face even remotely funny? It's disrespectful. It's gross. And even if this was a skit, and it was apparently a skit because I've been sent this video multiple times, multiple times, that does not negate the fact that that is not something that you should do. And when I watched this compilation video that was linked in my previous video, not the original video that was put on Drew Monson's channel, I thought that what Drew was giving in that moment was a genuine reaction. I thought that he was really hurt and upset by what Shane Dawson did by spitting in his face. He said that that is one of the worst things that you could do to someone. So I felt and empathized with him in that moment. So, it's not really a situation that I manipulated. It, it's not. I really felt in that moment that that's what happened. And this was literally just them manipulating their own audiences. This was not me manipulating. It was them manipulating their audiences. If you watch the full clip, first of all, Dustin, everyone is aware Shane did skits and they did funny, crazy things back then. You know, people were allowed to have humor before bullies like you came on the internet and decided what is and isn't humorous. And don't you love this? Under what context this is this okay? It's just gross and it's not funny to me. Great. Not everybody enjoys the same humor, Dustin. You know what, you could, let, let's go into this, and I'm not shaming anybody, understand I'm using this example. So Dustin, you're part of the LGBT, right? And the LGBT has fought for their rights and more power to them, I will always stand behind them. But it's the same thing as people saying, why should two men get to have sex? That is just disgusting, that is gross, I don't understand it. Do you know how much I grew up with that mentality and having to help the LGBT fight that mentality? Or how about people who are sex workers? I mean, that's not even spitting in people's face. That's squirting all kinds of stuff on one another. That's, you know what? And really, it's unhygienic and it's gross. And that's people swap and spit. What do you think kissing is? Kissing is something similar. But we don't talk about that. They did a skit. How is that funny? Well, it's not me manipulating. No, when you didn't do your due diligence and actually research the hatred and the meanness and the ableism that you were spewing, when you decided that it was above you to have to do that and you did what you just admitted to instead of actually looking into things like, I don't know, a mature, responsible person, you just react based off of the first thing you saw. You know what that shows me? It shows me you are an incredibly shallow person. Maybe you're not like this in your real life. Remember your boyfriend or your fiance, right? By the way, I said friend. I didn't know about their relationship. That's no disrespect. I don't know much about these two people. But remember he says, YouTubers are fake. And he is right. And I think that literally was the trash calling itself. <laughs> like the trash taking itself out. By the way, I feel kind of bad because I know I've seen Nick's content on his own and I liked it. I don't, I don't know much about Nick. I didn't have a problem with Nick, but I had a real problem with all of this bullying going on. I'm gonna apologize. <laughs> I'm gonna apologize, but I'm not gonna say I'm sorry and I didn't do my due diligence, but what Shane did is still awful anyway because if I don't agree with your humor, therefore you are the worst person in the world and you are super evil. And really, when somebody, when I take a clip and take it completely out of context and don't do my research, then it's just because I don't believe in that type of humor, then the person who put the humor out is just manipulating their audience. Oh, this is this is a treat, honestly. This doesn't even work for me. This is fun. And a lot of people were upset and mad that I talked about Drew Monson. Drew Monson is a public figure. I deal in talking about public figures. So 
if he's intertwined in some drama, not like directly related to him, but he's just a part of it, I'm going to talk about him. I, I will talk about him just like I will talk about anyone else. Um, I empathize and I, I hate that he's going through whatever it is that he's going through on social media in his personal life that has removed him from the internet. I don't want anybody to have to deal with any kind of mental health stuff. I suffer with that myself. So I totally understand him wanting to remove himself from the internet, but it's things like this that cause people to remove theirself from the internet. Wait a minute. You are sympathetic with Drew for wanting to, you don't, you don't understand why he removed himself from the internet. And you don't understand why people are upset with you because you disrespected his privacy when he doesn't want to be brought up on the internet, but you can't help if he's brought to drama. No, Dustin, here's the problem. People like you and Petty Page and Trisha, who actually does feed people stuff. I know this firsthand because I watched her do it with me and other people said the same thing. Unlike you, I have something called receipts. I actually have the evidence and the information of when she does these things. I actually do my due diligence or I do my best to in research. And if I don't, I actually issue apologies. I don't just try to blame everybody else on everything I've ever done or any short-sightedness I've had. The problem is you guys dragged Drew into a situation that he didn't want to be in simply because you're bullies. You're bullies that make money and get attention off of being bullies. That's why people are mad. He's like, hey, I like my privacy. Please respect it. Well, I need to make some money and gosh, I haven't been a bully in a while. Let's go ahead and bully. And then he says, and I feel bad for Drew and I empathize because of his mental health. I have mental health. Well, first of all, Drew was the one that spit at Shane first. So isn't Drew the actual devil and not Shane? Or doesn't that mean that Drew is a devil himself? Isn't that what that is, Dustin? And, but remember, it's, you know, it's, it's evil if Shane does it, but if Drew does it, doesn't matter. And he doesn't bring that up. And then he says, I empathize because Drew has mental health issues. I know how hard that is. And I don't want to kick somebody when they're down. And I do too. But Shane is fighting to stay on the planet. And all you want to do is kick him. And you and other people just continue to kick him and kick him and kick him. It is so transparent this this whole like this is why i get so mad at this the hypocrisy and how mean these people are and how everybody just accepts it and cheers it on is absolutely disgusting and he makes sure to say i want i don't want anybody to have to deal with mental health stuff because i suffer it for myself but if it's shane we don't care i guess shane deserves it right dustin shane deserves it because he smells Piggly Wiggly is gross because it smells and you're going to go on a fungal excursion a vacation with your boyfriend where all of us poverty stricken or minority types shop so gross. By the way, some people in the comments were upset that I said minorities. Is there a better word to say? And I'm being serious. Like, I've been told that that is the best word to say when you're referring to people who are not Caucasian. So educate me. I'm open. Let me know in the comments because everything I'm saying is full of respect and love because I know what a horrible position that minorities have been put in and the fact that so many of us are put into poverty. Even Caucasians are put into poverty. It's real interesting. I'll talk about this in another video one day, but Caucasians have been brainwashed to believe that we are in a higher class so we're not actually in poverty. And then let's be realistic. Minorities are in worse poverty. So everybody's actually in poverty, but it's just some people thinking they're more superior in their poverty over other people and disregarding their experiences. Welcome to America 2021. I was gonna say 2020 it's over but Lord 2021 here it is. Last thing he says it's things like this that cause this sales for people to be removed from the internet. Did you just admit that you bully people off the internet? It's things like this. It's things like you and Petty Page and others cause that remove people from the internet. You're outing yourself as bullying people off the internet. So I guess by extension you're admitting that you and your little circle jerk of friends you guys have bullied Shane Dawson off the internet. Good job, Dustin. It just is. Um, Shane is someone that I used to admire. And over time, over years upon years of watching, not watching, I, I finally I have lost all respect for him. There's numerous different things in his past that have been brought up over and over and over again. And I've tried to push all of that aside and uh, try to see from his point of view and try to rationalize things that he's done and said. And it's just to the point now where you cannot rationalize the way that Shane Dawson has acted, the jokes that he's made, the things that he said to people, the things that he said about people behind their backs. That is just not something that I want to partake in. And in me uploading this video, it was a knee jerk reaction to what I saw and what I saw, what I thought I saw was a genuine reaction of Drew Monson being upset. And a lot of people think that there's like this common knowledge that if they know something, you have to know something. I, to be honest, I've watched a couple of Drew Monson's videos. I never followed him that much. 
I just didn't because he was connecting with Shane at a time that I didn't really watch Shane, you know? So a lot of people think that just because they know something, you have to know something. And this was apparently a skit. So regardless, I think that it's gross that he would spit in <laughs> in Drew's face. And apparently I think Drew spit in his face. I don't know. I did, I did not go back and watch the video. I, I watched the clip that someone uploaded where it's literally Drew saying this is a, a skit. I still find it gross. I still find it appalling. I still think that it's sick that Shane would even partake in this. And I think that it's sick that Drew Monson would even partake in this as a skit because it's not funny to spit on other people. And aside from that, what, like, I don't know how, I don't even know how it went from um, Shane body shaming him to uh, the video clip that I saw in the car where Drew said that that really hurt his feelings. And if it did hurt his feelings, he, he made it seem like it hurt his feelings. Why would he then say that it didn't hurt his feelings? So that to me is manipulation and that needs to be pointed out. I am over the whole, like, the process of like people like ganging and jumping up on people, right? Um, because there was some people on Twitter last night that apparently they said this video has been up for uh, two days and you haven't addressed it. Like I don't upload videos every single day. And a lot of them thought that I would not get on here and address this. And they called me a manipulator when that is not the case. This was not manipulated. I literally watched a compilation video and reacted to it. I even linked the video that I reacted to in the uh, description box of the video. So I can own that there was an oversight on my part by not looking further into it because it was not something that I, I found out of the realm of something that Shane would do. But you are not going to get on here and you're not going to say that I'm a manipulator. There was also this person that reacted to my video and then tried to attack me on Twitter. I'm not going to really get into them or mention their name because they literally just want attention from this and they're not going to get it. But... Um, Dude, I know you're going to watch this video and you'll probably react to it. You are a disgusting person because I saw and I was sent all of like a lot of the things that you did and you have said to people and you want to say that I'm anything like here by Jay. That is not the case at all. I'm not a manipulator. And there was this other channel that uh, basically said, well, you didn't address this or da 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 da. It don't work like that. Like, I'll address things on my own time. This is a lot more than you would get from anybody else, to be honest, um, as far as, like, them coming on here and admitting that they've done wrong. I talk about Jeffree Star, Shane Dawson, Tana Mojo, and all these people all the time, and we talk about how they should address things that they've done. I'm here doing it. I, I, I don't understand what what it is that you guys want like you want to crucify people off gate and not let them know because that's exactly what happened on twitter they were saying oh you po you posted this and it was a manipulation tactic and you did this because you want to take shane down i don't want to take shane down i have no interest or vested interest in taking shane dawson down what i saw and what i thought happened grossed me out and in no context do i think spitting on your friends is funny it's disgusting body shaming people is also very disgusting and for shane to say that he's an empath and to say that he has all these body dysmorphia issues to body shame his friend drew even if it was a joke is still disgusting to me and i stand by that i do not like that i will not partake in that and it pisses me off that people would think that that i did this intentionally it was an oversight on my part i absolutely own that 100 percent i will do better going forward looking into things but I guess hindsight is 2020 and I guess I can't gauge everything of what I think Shane Dawson would do because he has done a lot and there's really no excuse for the things that he has done so you know what I mean I'm not gonna sit here and try to rationalize everything but I apologize again for people thinking that I manipulated this that was not at all the case I would never do that I've called people out in the past for manipulating their audience I've called people out in the past for faking receipts I've never partaken in any such a thing that is disgusting and it and uh, people look at me like I'm a news channel I'm not a news channel I'm a person that gets on the internet with a camera and I have an opinion and I talk about things that interest me and this interests me and I felt bad for Drew Monson in that moment and it is my bad that I didn't look further into it but that's still not an excuse it's still not an excuse at all for people to for two grown people to be spinning on people to elicit a response from people and then say it's a joke it's disgusting it, it, it's just not 
I don't understand the context that that would be acceptable in. So to all of you guys that saw me on Twitter yesterday, yes, I was being nasty because people were being a nasty to being nasty to me. They literally tried to crucify me off gate. Yes, I called people bitches. And yes, I responded in a way that these people were attacking me. So I attacked them back because that that's just how it is. Disrespect is met with disrespect. To all of you guys that had to see that, I apologize. I am sorry, but if you disrespect me, I'm going to disrespect you back. That's just that's just how it is. If you disrespect me, I'm going to go lower than you. I will go to the Earth's crust. That's just what it is. Um, so, yes, I did not manipulate this. Not a manipulation tactic. I literally do not care uh, what people have to say about as far as that goes. I don't. This is just me addressing this. It was an oversight on my part, and I apologize. But with all that said, I hope you guys have an amazing day, and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye, guys. You are catching this, right? You are catching what I'm catching. I got my computer in front of me. This one was a bit of a longer clip, but I wanted you guys to see it unedited and I took some notes. The end is priceless. Let's start at the beginning. He says he used to admire Shane, but over time and over the years of watching him and watching things on and off, which he also says he didn't watch during the time when Drew was there. I've lost all respect for him. Numerous things in his past that have been brought up over and over again. You mean people like you, Drew, bring it up over and over again. Because people like you, Drew, supported him right up until May of 2020. Literally less than a year ago, you were super supportive. But then you realized I can make a lot of money jumping on this target I can put on his back. People are so, these people are so fake. It's exactly what Nick Snyder said. YouTubers are fake. And he's absolutely right, especially the one that he's with. So he says in the numerous things that have been brought up in the past over and over and how he's like, and, and you know, what he has said about people and talk behind their backs. I pushed it aside and I tried to rationalize his actions. And now I realize you can't rationalize how he's acted, the jokes he's made and the things he said about people behind their backs and, and to their face. And that's not something I want to partake in. You are the biggest bully. You've literally said, if I feel attacked, I will come at you 10 times worse. You really want to police and tell people how they need to act and how Shane is just so horrible and how he acts when it's almost all rumors. I've yet to see one piece of evidence where Shane is a bad friend. What I do see see evidence of is that Trisha runs around to people who are supportive and kind of her and tries to ruin their friendships and ruin their careers for no reason. Yes, that's what I see your queen doing, Dustin. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm sorry. The best, the best part of this is coming. This, this was just so funny. It's just not something I want to partake in. No, you want to go ahead and create your own bully moms online. You don't, you <laughs> You don't want to partake in somebody's humor that you can't possibly understand, even though your boyfriend and you can joke on about spitting on each other. And that's fine. Those jokes are fine because it's you guys and you're above your little fake moral ethics you put out there. And so then he says, my reaction was a knee jerk reaction to what I saw, what I saw or what I thought I saw it was a knee jerk reaction to what Drew Monsoon said about him being upset. Well, right. That, that's why context. And you know what I find sad? I find sad that some of these people, in my opinion, are so socially inept, like Dustin to me. I don't know whether he's such a bully he's manipulating or he's socially inept. Maybe it could be both. I would side with the fact he probably knows what he's doing. He's just absolutely a bully. But maybe he has just got some social issues because how do you not understand the context of the comedy? How do you not understand it? That, that's obviously comedy. But then again, you didn't do any research and he proudly proclaims, yeah, I haven't even watched the clips now, which we'll get into. And he says, people think there's common knowledge that if they knew something that I have to know it. And I have to be honest, I never watched Drew's videos. I didn't follow him much when he was connected with Shane. And I didn't watch Shane at that time either. People think because they know something, I have to know something. Apparently it was a skit. Well, here's the thing, hon. If you're going to talk trash on people and try to ruin people's lives and reputations and spread horrible things about them, I don't know. Maybe you're going to want to research about what you talk about. Just literally take six minutes to look at the six minute evident cl evidence clip to see what it is? Or would you even understand what socially is going on? Or is it that you do? Because this is my opinion. I think you're smart. You know, you're just doing this to get money and be attend and just get attention for being a bully. You know what you're doing. You know, and great, you don't like his humor. So freaking what? So what? 
Who cares? It doesn't mean it's horrible. Like this makes me so mad. Look, I, I'm not attracted to women. Does that mean the LGBT shouldn't exist and they're awful? No, and that's the stuff we fought for for years. And here you're taking that same logic and you're applying it to humor. Like, it's BS to me, grow up. And the other thing is if he didn't follow Shane or Drew at that time, then you really should have looked at the context of it, really should have looked at it. That's no excuse, no excuse. And so, and, and I love it. He's like, well, uh, people just think I need to know everything they know. And that's just not true. So he's putting the responsibility on us for the fact that he didn't research and we're upset with him because we knew something he didn't. No, we're upset with you for being a bully and gossiping and lying about people and just being a bully to somebody who wants to leave the planet. It makes me so mad. And he says, apparently it was a skit. Regardless, I think it's gross that Shane spit in his face. But then finally says, but apparently uh, Drew spit in his face. I don't know. I didn't even watch the clip. I didn't even see him say it was a skit. He's making an apology while not even going to actually see the evidence of the damage he caused. Oh, you're such a moral worrier. I love it. This makes me so happy. And he says, uh, Drew spit in his face. I didn't see it. Um, I didn't go back and watch the clip. I didn't even see them say it was a skit. It's gross and appalling that sick and sick that Shane would take part. And then he says, and that Drew took part in all. So first, he keeps putting it all on Shane and the, oh, but, but Drew too. Even though Drew was the one that started it in the skit and it was a skit. And he goes, and that Drew took part in this skit as it is because it's not funny to spit at other people aside from that. I don't even know how. Shane body shaming him and the clip in the car to hurt his feelings that he, and Drew said his feelings were hurt. And if it did hurt his feelings, he made it seem that way. Why would he like the like that? That is manipulation. And that needs to be called out. Oh my God, thank you, moral warrior Dustin. Hey, wait a minute. You know what? This is a problem. This is a big problem, not just across the country, but across the world. Listen, listen, Dustin, you're not gonna believe this. There's a place called Hollywood and there's even a place called Bollywood. And you know what they do? Literally, they have paid manipulators. They pay manipulators to go and just say things and act in ways and make things up that are lies. They film it and then they give it to people as random stories and we're supposed to believe it? Oh my God, we're all being mass manipulated, aren't we? Dustin really doesn't understand what acting is. Dustin doesn't understand the art form of acting. Well, Dustin, I hope you got a big list of the Hollywood elitists and all the people in that industry to call it. That was why I was laughing. I'm like, Dustin, it's a skit and they're acting. Do you call every television show you see in every movie the great manipulation? And you know, funny enough, his logic isn't wrong, but that's, sometimes that's art. Art is playing with, like, I'm sitting here going, are you so socially inept that I have to explain this to you? Are you just such a bully that you literally think your audience will eat this up because they just enjoy hating the same people that you hate? Disgusting, absolutely disgusting, Dustin. That's right, actors don't exist and how evil are they? Guys, this video's been way too long. I'm gonna do a part two to this. I think I'll stop there because to me this was <laughs> so far and I'm, I've seen this before, but in doing this reaction, I'm five minutes in, this was one of the funniest parts that, well, this is a skit. I mean, I didn't research it. I didn't even go look to see if it was a skit. So here it is, you ready? He did a whole a video about apology without apologizing, saying he messed up and he's gonna apologize without apologizing to this whole video based once again off of, you ready for it? Gossip. He's literally taken the gossip and the attacks of people and just ran with it and believed it without even looking to see if it's true. Good job, Dustin. Way to apologize and not take accountability and not learn from your mistakes because you were just a mean, gossip-mongering bully. And I'm so happy we have people like you on this platform. I'm exhausted. Round two, and it's gonna get even better. And this time we're gonna talk about how he has the classiest, most respectful reactions to people who respectfully disagree with him because he's not reactive and he doesn't match energies times 10. You know, like a wild animal does. No, Dustin is literally not about the thinking of a wild animal because uh, that's about as far and as deep as his intelligence allows him to go, at least per his bullying mechanisms. How he is in the rest of his life, I don't know. But hey, Dustin, what's it feel like to know you take money for just being a bully all the time? What's that like? What is that like, Dustin? Let me know. Send me a, send me a message.
I'm curious. All right, guys, if you like this video, please give me a big thumbs up and support. Also comment, tell me what you think. I am very curious. As long as it's respectful, you're more than welcome to be here. I like hearing respectful comments. And if you disagree, I will think on it. I always do. Some of y'all have given me some real, uh, you know, food for thought. Some real thought fodder, which I always enjoy because I like, and I'm always like, I'm one of those people I hyper analyze everything. So I enjoy it and share this content with people you think might like it. Other ways, I said Mike like it. Did you hear it? Did you hear my little Mike and actor shout out? People who Mike like it. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to go make some tea and get my videos ready to enjoy my weekend. And I hope you all do too. Take care. Lots of love. Lots of blessings. To the next video, I'm giving you guys hugs and kisses. And stay away from internet bullies. Bye, guys.